Ain't by Lucini, I'm Houdini Ride the green like Luigi Stuff with cheese like some CD Sippin' on martinis while sticking out my pinky The only way these niggas box me in is if I'm on TV Flies will sheen me full of aura when you see me since a Pee Wee I've been well-rounded like a CD I'm about it, so keep it a thousand When you greet me, all my steppers go Put on a show like it's Greek week this is As of Late Podcast. It's your boy Titus, and we got Promise to God with us. Big God in the building. What's yes, going sir. on, brother? Nothing much, man. How are you? Chilling, man. Chilling. How you living, man? I'm living wonderful, man. It's good to be back home in the city, but... I yeah, know, I know. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, man. We made yeah, it happen, man. That's we made a fact, it happen. man. That's a fact. <laughs> I appreciate you coming aboard, man. I mean, it's well overdue. Um, just from the energy... That I receive every time the 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 time the first time I seen you, mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, it matches the music, bro. Like you're one of those artists where the music matches, um, the energy. When I see you, it's it's nothing but um, just some ball shit, bro. You made me want to go get a check. When I first seen you, and and then we're gonna get into that as well because I feel like, and I was just thinking about this on 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 the way here. I was like, man, he has a demeanor. And this chick was talking about this as well. Actually, Little Ken was talking about this when it came to Biggie. Mm -hmm. And um, she was like, I feel like it's a certain level of, um, just like with women, mm -hmm. um, it's a higher standard for bigger artists. Like, right. you're more of a heavier set dude. Right. And with that demeanor, um, you have to really have a type of bigger confidence as opposed to somebody else. Right. Yeah. She was like, if you look at some of the greats, like a Biggie, like a uh, pun, like mm -hmm. I mean, you put Ross Ross is up there now. Um, they they have this demeanor to where it's like, motherfucker, I don't gotta fuck with y'all. Like y'all yeah, should be fact. messing with me, yeah. mm -hmm. and that's the vibe I get. Do you is that influence like something that came into like who you are now as Promise to God? Like was this a swag? Yeah, it, it took a while because I think for me, I um, I started rapping. I would say later than most people would. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, they grow up mm -hmm. want to be a rapper. It was just something I fell into. So um, at first, I was like, I, it took me a while to find my voice. And I think once I found my voice and I started seeing how people reacted to it, mm -hmm. it just gave me, like, the confidence. It's like, I know I, I sound good, but I know I don't sound like anybody else. You know what I'm saying? So once I started mm -hmm. doing that, it was like, you know, I started, like, hyping myself up. Like, you know. Yeah. I feel like I'm a whole lot better than I get than the credit I get. You know what I'm saying? So, uh -huh. in order, should. yeah, in uh -huh. order for me to get that credit, it's like I'm gonna put it in your face like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So that, that's you know how I handle my music. You said you started later on. What age did you start? Like 20, 24, 25. Okay. Because like you were probably, I mean, like everybody probably tampers with it plays mm -hmm. around with it so is that the age where you were like you know what i'm really gonna take this serious and like no that was the that's when that's when you really just started, really rapping. started rapping like i'm gonna go period. in the booth let me yeah i ain't really take it serious i don't want to get my age but i ain't really take it serious about three years ago you okay. know what I'm saying? so um once i started take i mean i was rapping we was doing stuff but it was like i wasn't i was just rapping just to rap like i like doing it mm. you, know you seem very observant you observe yeah okay so you studied the game and seeing like i feel like you you studied it to a point to where like if i'm gonna come into it i'm gonna come into it right this is right, i'm gonna yeah. come into it mm -hmm. i feel like you you did you just didn't hop into it you know and I, I feel like that age had a lot to do with it yeah you know? I, I took my time with it bro mm -hmm. that's yeah. a beautiful thing to do you know like it's not you know Chappelle said it best he said I could have LeBron James did <clears throat> in the sense of blew up early mm -hmm. you know he was like but you know I, I had a George Clooney type of life yeah in the sense of like not to say he wasn't playing with it when it came to stand-up he started stand-up at an early age but he didn't blow until he was in his 30s mm -hmm. and Clooney was the same way Clooney didn't blow until he was in his 30s he was like if i if i didn't if i would have did that when i was in teenage years um i don't know if i would have been able to take it mm -hmm. i wouldn't i don't know if i've been able to deal with that and had the right. maturity when it came to some of my content mm -hmm. and so i think same thing with jay i mean jay he was in the streets he was doing his thing reasonable doubt i don't think came out till he was like 27 right. like he was mm -hmm. compared to the other niggas that was in the industry at that time like nas like the prodigy mm -hmm. like when i say not prodigy the rapper r.i.p i mean nas was a prodigy because mm -hmm. he came out as a teenager right. and so dealing with that he was considered late to mm -hmm. be like 
putting out his first body of work. But he was the more mature one because he was the businessman. He had Rockefeller. He mm-hmm. was he was in it with Dame. And so I feel like that came at an advantage to Jay because he not only came in it as a rapper, but he came into it strategic like a businessman. Right. And I see the same with yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, we... One thing about me is, like, I pride myself off of how I present myself. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I've been rapping for a minute, but I only put out, like, f- maybe three, four projects. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, I I really like to take my time. I don't want to just put music out because I got it. Mm-hmm. And you can ask everybody around me, like, I'm not the person that's in the studio every, like, two, three times a week. Mm-hmm. I go to the studio when it's time to work. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So I go every song I make nine times out of ten is gonna make the project because I just try to move. I try to make the right moves all the time. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And I don't really give myself a chance to make a mistake because I just try to make sure everything's right. Mm-hmm. Each step is done. You know what I'm saying? The right way before I move on and do something else. You yeah, know what I'm saying? crossing your T's, dotting your eyes, mm-hmm. make sure everything the ducks are in a row, as they say. Yeah, I mean, and that's very key. I mean, even when it came to the most recent show. Um, the lineup phenomenal, mm-hmm. um, closeout phenomenal. Like for me, that's a flawless victory, you yeah, know. Because it. especially um, with Snug being so, um, in the sense of a staple when it comes to like mm-hmm. Charlotte music scene, um, they, I have my gripes with. I love Snug, but I could tell the energy of that night was just aligned perfectly when it came yeah. to. You did it where you had cats like Verb. Um, the audience was coming to support you. And I mm-hmm. feel like that vibe of the energy rubbed off on the employees to where they were like, oh, okay, this guy, yeah. even though this is his first time at Snug, like mm-hmm. he came with it. Like you right. made sure you had the right people on the lineup. Um, the Just everything was well put together. Mm-hmm. And I feel like sometimes when it comes to hip hop, particularly at Snug, um, Everything has to be well put together for them right. to like really give you the attention you deserve as compared to like a rock performance or something mm-hmm. like that. You know, they're a lot more lenient to when it comes to, you know, you came as you are having your ducks in a row where it was mm-hmm. just like everything was on point. And so it was a good show to where I could tell, even talking to some of the bartenders, they were like, yo, man, like I love this dude's vibe. Like mm-hmm. I, I will, I want to see him come back and do more consistent stuff. Yeah, I mean, we, um, when it comes to the lineup, I pretty much knew who I wanted on from the jump because mm-hmm. Lillian and Verb, those are two people I've been working with consistently. I've been working with Verb really yeah, since Shout out I, to Lillian as yeah. well. I've been working with Verb since I started, you know what I'm saying? Like outside of Chiz and Hood, which we, we was a group. At, um, we still are, but they don't rap no more. But we was a group. Chiz, what you doing, man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so outside, Chiz over there in the cut, yeah. for people don't know. Like, he over yeah, there in Chiz, the cut. Chiz, he, Silent he, assassin right, right here. He can do it all. But, I mean, outside of them, Verb was the pers- first person who mm-hmm. was, like, around. So, we've been kind of moving and shaking for about about 10 years. You Where know you met Verb from? Because just being from the east side? Like, uh, my homeboy Hood, they went to... Um, you talking about Slim Hood? No, Hood oh, Jose. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, he used to... He went to school with Verb. Okay. So they um I'm trying to think. I went to school with him. Nick, Nick Grant, Hood Jose, uh yeah, yeah. uh what's mm-hmm. his name? What what his yeah. name was Hollywood. Oh yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, his yeah, name yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was rapping way back <laughs> right, in the day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think he played football too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was a little bit I think he was a year older than me. And um, cause I remember that dude, man, because he used to rap. With a dude that passed away named Devin, Devin Howard. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. R.I.P. to him. Yeah. So, I remember. Yeah, he's been in the game for a minute. He's been doing the same for a minute. Yeah, so. Yeah, Jamon too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Hood yeah. had introduced us to Verb, and he brought him through to a session. And mm-hmm. we was just all kicking, and then we just all did a song together. But from that point, it was like after that day, me and Hood just stayed. I mean, I mean, Hood, me and Verb just stayed in contact. All you know right, what I'm saying? Like, up. at one point, we was all... Every project, either one of us was putting out, we was on it. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. doing features or whatever. So I just made sure I put people on around me. I always keep the same type of people around me all the time. You know yeah, what I'm saying? You I'm won't you won't really see me out with people other than Cheers. Like I said earlier, like if you see me outside, I'm with Cheers. Like I keep the same people around me. So I knew that was gonna work, but. um I don't know, bro. The show it was just, it was perfect. I I I couldn't 
even imagine it being that good. You know mm. what I'm saying? But I think it was because, like I said, like I try to make sure I move how I need to. I was nervous as hell. You know mm. what I'm saying? I might have played it cool. But <laughs> you played bro, it I'm cool as a you, fan. <laughs> I, I was sweating back there, bro. Yeah. I was like, because, you know, we there before anybody else get there. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, damn, bro. Like, what if this shit don't work? You know what I'm saying? Uh, what if they don't show up or... You know what I'm saying? What if the love ain't what we think it's gonna be? You know what I'm saying? Like Yeah, the what ifs getting in your own. I head. was I was doubting that shit, you know, the days leading up to it, but then mm -hmm. I woke up that morning and I was like, bro, it really don't matter, man. Mm -hmm. You know, at the end of the day, the people that that's coming there to see us, them the people we care about. We yeah. don't care about nobody else. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But it turned out to be you know Beautiful, what I'm bro. Yeah, it was Beautiful. great. Best one that I've went to in a while when it came yeah, to a snow that. show. Because um people that know me, man, especially nowadays, um when I don't like go out just to go out. Like mm -hmm. back in the day, I was like out here drink. I ain't, I don't do shit no more. Mm -hmm. And so when I come out, I try to make it a mission to like. I still am a uh, my Achilles heel is still live music. Mm -hmm. And so when I come to a show, I definitely um you know come with the intention of staying all the way through mm -hmm. because like I said, I don't come out too often. And so I came in the beginning. And seeing the whole progress, I seen everybody perform, and I was like, man, like this was a well put together show. Mm -hmm. Like everybody fit, it gelled together. Yeah. Then like, um, you know, even towards like the end, like y'all were all like jumping on each other's stuff. Northside mm -hmm. was there, yeah, he facts. took a trip. Mm -hmm. um, VVG was y'all did the song together. Right. I was like, dang, I was like, this was some good. Yeah, yeah it got I me hyped I, for the city, man. I, and I know it, that had to be yeah. beautiful for you. I like, feel like that. another thing that happened was it's a lot of people that's been waiting to see that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, we've been around the city. We've been doing, you know, little stuff here and there. Like, we, we they know who we are. But I think it's like a lot of people, you know, they want to see you in a different space. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. as far as. They want to see you in person. Yeah. Especially like, particularly with you. Mm -hmm. Like, Verb, Verb's a staple. Verbs, right. when it comes to this, like, he's a vet. I, I put him up there with, a, like, Charlotte, he's a Charlotte legend, bro, mm -hmm. on what he does when it comes to consistency. So. Verb, that crowd, I already knew he was going to get. I knew he was going to get traction with them. Mm -hmm. And I remember seeing, because um, my boy V was there as well, um, V. Larry. Mm -hmm. um, I call him V. Larry because his first name is, he got a first, he got two first names like me. My whole first name is Jonathan Titus. His whole first name is Vincent Larry. And <laughs> I call him V. Larry. Mm -hmm. And he was like, um, I'm really, I'm really, this will be my first time seeing Promise. Live, I was like, this is my first time seeing him live. I just mm -hmm. spoke to him. I just talked to you outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was like, man, like I hope that I hope his energy matches what I hear. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the night, he was like, yeah, it matched. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, was like, he was like, cause you know, you go to a lot of shows. I was just talking to my boy Six Cardinal about that, where you'll hear someone on wax and the stage presence isn't the same. Oh yeah, that's a fact. And so like when when you came, your whole aura was like. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I'm here. Like, yeah, like, it, but I fit show, off the crowd, the bro. Vibe, like yeah. the, the glasses, like yeah. that's why I was like, oh yeah, he ready. Like yeah. he got it. When I seen you do your first song, I was like, yeah, he ready. Put this mm -hmm. man on the booking. Like he yeah. ready. Yeah, he ready to go, man. But that's that's you like crossing your t's and dotting mm -hmm. your eyes. And then the crowd turned out not only for the people you had on the bill, but I feel like because like my boy um, V Larry, um, the anticipation people yeah. have been listening to mm -hmm. your music, and so they're like, man. I'll, Mm -hmm. He's performing live. Let's see what he's like live. Yeah. So that's yeah. why I think the turnout came out very well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was perfect, man. Yeah, I couldn't ask for a better night. Yeah, it yeah. was it was a good night, great night. Had the city show up, and so I feel like with that, um, how are you in the sense of um, like you, you talked about the history with Verb and then Chaz? Like, how are you now in the sense of like collabing? Uh, did I say his name? Yeah, wrong? He said Chaz. It's Chiz. Chiz. Yeah. My, it's all good. <laughs> my apologies. <laughs> Chiz. Um, Let me step on here. <laughs> my name is my name. Get my name yeah. right, all right? <laughs> my name is my name. <laughs> Cut the camera. <laughs> But how are you in the sense of collabing? I mean, you said, like, you stay close-knit when you mm. have your family, of course, but the collabs are going to start coming. Like, are you open oh, to yeah, stuff I'm, like I'm that? I'm definitely open. I mean, I've done... I don't work with, you know what I'm saying, a, damn near anybody you can think of. Oh, it's a couple of people I haven't. Um, but I move off vibes, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. I, That's we, we did a thing... Um, 
couple of years back, uh, before the pandemic, it was like Soul on Sunday. So, what was like, it called? Soul on Sundays. Okay. And what that was, it was uh, just a collective um, me, Cheers, Hood, um, my homeboy Passport. We uh, just rented out the studio for like eight hours and invited as many people as we could fit in there. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And it was just like, you know, um, a song came out of it, but it was like we had producers and artists. We just put people together. You know what I'm saying? So, um, what was I saying? When it comes to collabing, oh, collabing. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I, I've uh, I'm I'm down to work with anybody. I did songs with Lot, Shown. Uh, okay, shit. shout out Shown, Ghost. Ghost. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Elevator J. I seen them at the show. You, you, you know got what I'm saying? Support, I, I've, bro. I've, I've I've worked with people before. I mean, but as far as collaborating, I just move off of. The vibes, you know what I'm saying? I, you can read somebody from the Instagram page. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like I, I like to see how people move before I even reach out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because if it if it's I don't care how talented you, talented you are, if the way you move off, I don't want you around me. You know what I'm saying? So I try to you know what I'm saying I'm open to working with anybody, but it just mm-hmm. got to make sense. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> it got to be a benefit for the both of us. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I won't sense. do it just. Just because you think just to do rap. it, just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh yeah, you you nice. You got a whole, you got a thousand, hundred thousand followers. That don't mean nothing to me. It's yeah. like, how how do you move? You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. So. I like to see you collab with one of the singers, uh, one of the female singers. I feel like that would be a good. It's vibe. one girl now that I mean, like it's Sam, one woman, like Seneca or Autumn. Yeah, so that's what I was gonna say. It's one, um, actually two. Makeda and Shout out Makeda She was yeah, at the show Autumn Rainwater Them mm-hmm. the two people I've been kind of You know watching East, east Side you know veterans. Yeah. Oh that's a fact <laughs> Oh that's another thing bro Yeah mm-hmm. the East Side Is really nice with it out here Yeah man Yeah, yeah. And That's refreshing as well mm-hmm. I mean because um, Being someone from here Myself born and raised And on this side of town mm-hmm. um, It's it's like that on every side, man. Like in the sense of like having that sense of pride about your side, Mm -hmm. and um, I would always get into those debates with the West Side. Like, bro, we doing it right now. Like the score, look at the scoreboard. I'm like, bro, we got them over here, bro. Mm -hmm. We just waiting. I mean, like we don't have it in the sense of like um, we have the stars. It's just when it comes down to the promo, really. Yeah, because the stars is all. Stars is on every side from, mm-hmm. from you to that on the south side. You want to talk about south side? You got ghosts. You want to mm-hmm. talk about the north side? You got that on. Everybody is so talented, bro. Yeah. It just really comes down to some people having bigger backing behind them. Mm-hmm. And so when it comes to that, I'm always in the sense of um, rooting for the east side when I see people like Makeda, when I see Autumn, people who've been doing it for such a dumb long time right. mm-hmm. and finally getting some kind of recognition of getting like their own shows, let alone, you know, um, the recognition. You mm-hmm. know, when you get your own like headline show, I feel like that's a big deal, especially in the city for somebody that has been watching headline shows after headline shows. And then mm-hmm. you probably wonder like, man, like when they going to fuck with me, let me get my mm-hmm. own. Like some of these cats, like that was big as well in that sense, because a lot of people. They want to get a headline show at yeah. somewhere like a snug, mm-hmm. and they're, they're not able to get that. And yeah. so I think that was nice for um, me to see you get that because I feel like I know that is a good um, bridge to these other venues, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. going going to get those First thing headlines. I told Verb and Lillian after the show, I was like, we created leverage, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we can take that and, and pretty much take it anywhere. I completely agree. You know agree. what I'm saying? Because we, we proved that we can do it. Mm-hmm. So Yeah. Very see it to believe it type mm-hmm. of um, industry that we're in. Right. You know, they want to see it. They want to see the numbers. And I think you showed that, mm-hmm. you know, in a good way. Um, you being, are you born from here? Are you yeah, from born and raised. Born and raised mm-hmm. in Charlotte? In Charlotte. Yeah. Okay. Presby, yeah. baby. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> My boy, yes, man. Sir. That's what's I'm up, east man. side from birth to yeah. death. You feel me? That's what's up, yeah. man. That's what's up. What school did you go to? Garinger. Garinger? Yeah. The G? Okay. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. G code over there. Mm-hmm. Shout out to them, man. They've always been known for some um, <laughs> head buses and yeah. they're going, you know, some <laughs> lyrical assassins. You know, they they've had a mixture of a couple of different things, like the eye, man. We used mm-hmm. to we used to battle with them in the sense of like uh, hooping, and y'all had us hooping wise. Yeah, we had y'all football wise. Y'all had uh, everybody football wise. We man. had a good run when I went there. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we had a good little run football wise. I don't think nobody was seeing us around that Not time frame. Yeah. 
But basketball wise, oh, what'd he say? <laughs> he talking about West Charlotte. They had a good run before us. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, they had a, they had a good run. They had a good run because our our coach was their coach back in the day. Mm-hmm. And so, facts. Dub stay with a solid team. Y'all stay with a solid team all around. Um, basketball, football, Ganja. I would go there to hoop. Like y'all had oh, some yeah, good we hoops. Had, we Eastway had some Church hoopers. of God yeah. right down the street mm-hmm. from y'all. Like I would meet up with a lot of fans mm-hmm. over there. Like yep. get it in, man. He done stepped yeah. in, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like it's nothing I can't do. It's it's you know what I'm saying? Like as far as creating, it's a lot of stuff I won't do, but there's nothing I can't do. So it's like <clears throat> when I get in that mode, bro, it's like I can take it wherever I want to. You know yeah, what I'm and that's one thing I always pride myself off of. Like, Chiz can play a beat. Anybody in the studio play a beat, and they be like, "Nah, bro, turn that shit off." And I'm like, "Nah, let me get that." You know what I'm saying? And then it's like the place where I could take it. It's like, damn, we ain't even know that that was gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? So, I think I call my like, okay. I know you say he's gonna ask me about my name, but like when it comes to me calling myself the God, that that's the mm. reason why. Because it's like there's no box that you can put me in. I can do whatever I want to do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So okay. it's like I don't think I'm better than nobody. I just mm. think I'm I'm willing to try and anything. You okay. know what I'm saying? So I I didn't get a sense of um you are better than a lot of niggas, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't I didn't get I didn't get. I didn't never get a sense of like you being on some like ego, I'm a guy type stuff with that. No, uh-uh. um, I got something in the sense of um, I didn't get that. That's that's smart as well because I be thinking of like um, names and I'm like man, I wonder what that means. Mm. I just got in the sense of being there but never being ne- not there but there in a yeah. sense. Um, I'm always there but I'm never there. Mm. Um, I don't know. I just but, I just wanted to chime in on that. Part just because you said uh you know kind of asking where he fits mm. and um me I guess on the last project I think I produced maybe what four mm. four out of the ten ten joints on there and the I I guess to to kind of answer that I don't really think he does fit mm. you know you kind of started out earlier um, comparing him to just demeanor wise you know talking about Biggie talking about. You know, Some of the greats. Pun, right, mm-hmm. Pun, mm-hmm. Joe. And, uh, you know, I think, I mean, even when the first time I heard him, I, I, I heard that. You know what I'm saying? I heard that in him. Mm-hmm. And I don't know how many people, let alone from the South, but people from Charlotte, that you're going to compare to those legends. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. I don't really think he fits in me as a producer. Um, and, uh, I don't think I really fit either. <laughs> and that's why it works. You know mm, what I'm saying? That's yeah. Because um That's a great combination. Because I'm more if you listen to the project, I'm I'm more I'm more soulful. Um I sample and uh but I still bring that, you know, Southern eight oh eight. We still gonna smack. I was you just in about to head, say that you still you know give that bass that I like. That's mm. a fact. That's a fact. So um we still sticking true to those southern mm. roots, but like we sampled Lucini, bro. Like you know what I'm saying. Like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. <laughs> like who doing that right now? You know what I'm saying. Nah, I can't think of nobody and, but you. And, and flipping it, and even naming it something like Master P at first. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying. Still taking pride in being from the south. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. But flipping something like that, like really ain't nobody doing nothing like that. And putting you know hard slapping <laughs> 808s and shit on that. You know this what the I'm thing. Saying? Like my, I got an older brother. He like seven years older than me. So it's like growing up. All I listened to was, you know, Hove, Wu Tang. Mm. Yeah, you know same with me. Like Outkast, like heavy. Like this nigga was listening to like shit. I would, you know, what I'm saying like mm-hmm. I didn't even really. When I sit and think about it, it's like oh, it hit me. Like I've been molded into this. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. it's like so for him to be so old like my younger years this is what i was listening to hip hop like straight up hip hop yeah you know what i'm saying but then when he left that's when i kind of went on my you know what i'm saying made my move mm-hmm. but i'm out here you know i'm outside so it's like all my homies they ain't had it so we listening to like what's popping on the radio so it's like you know we get to pass the troy we get 3 mm, 6 miles yeah um, yeah you know what i'm saying so it's like all of that i'm influenced by all of that you know what i'm saying so it's like in my core, I want to make hip hop music, but me being from here, you know what I'm saying? Me, you know, making music for my dogs, for them to 
bounce to like I got to give them some of that street yeah. shit too you know what yeah, I'm saying like yeah, so yeah. I that's why I say like I do whatever cuz I've that's what it is like my mama riding and then we ain't listen I ain't even get to listen to rap until you know what I'm saying I was old enough to really like find the stations on my own you know what I'm saying like mm-hmm. so I've just been molded by music from them their birth you know what I'm saying all all kinds all genres and shit yeah and I just put that together. I feel like I I'd be doing myself a disservice if I wasn't making the shit that made me feel how I felt when I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. Mm-hmm. I try to tap into all of that's that. That's the shit that sticks around, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like if it doesn't, if it doesn't necessarily have a, if if it doesn't stick out to me, it it ain't gonna stick around. Like that, I agree. that's a bar, ain't yeah. it? Right? But uh, <laughs> but um, like you know what I'm saying? Because you can you can do, you know you can kind of distinctly you know not to compare anybody like, but you know you know Outkast when you hear it, you know mm-hmm. Nas when you heard it, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you can get you can kind of get lost in this trap wave, you know what I'm saying? I um, agree. Yeah. Um, production wise, and you know, and, and artist wise, so. Um, I think we've done a good job at uh, not, you know, what I'm saying, and it ain't necessarily intensely because I do make those beats, and he know he does rap on those beats, but uh, I think kind of stuff as far as for projects and you know things that we're gonna put out or things that we might uh, perform at a show, mm-hmm. um, you know, it, it's best to kind of you know catch your own way, you know, what I'm saying? yeah, create your own way. Yeah, I mean that's the best saying? way to separate yourself from, and like and like you were saying. Um, all the greats have done that. That mm-hmm. separates, like I was talking to uh, Six last week, that separates the boys from the men. Mm-hmm. Like when it comes to, because um, mm-hmm. hip hop is the most dominant genre, but it's really in actuality the youngest one. Right. right. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so we're just getting into a avenue to where you're getting sub genres with hip hop. Mm-hmm. And so with that, um, he is he is in a, a, a mentality like yourself in the sense of, I don't want to sound like everybody else. That's a fact. If you're trying to separate yourself, I want to be one of the rarities that still mm-hmm. can be like, yo, cut the beat off mm-hmm. and I can give y'all an acapella. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I want to be the ones that's like, yo, what this dude sample that going this with that 808? Mm-hmm. Like, that's what's going to draw the attention now because everybody is like robots in a the sense. They're doing, yeah, well, okay, 808, 808, 808, or oh, we're going to do emo, emo, emo. This is famous now. Okay, let's talk about depression, mm-hmm. depression, depression, depression. <laughs> yeah, depression. No disrespect to mental health yeah. because people really didn't want yeah. that, but yeah. did people make a lot of money from that? Yes, and right. overdo it um, in that sense. And so you want to try to cut yourself apart from that. Mm. And I see, I've seen that in you with like just a perfect example like i said the performance Mm -hmm. um you're cut from a different cloth right and i think that comes now getting to know you from the history Mm -hmm. you know having that older brother like myself who was playing the 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 legends for you to listen to and then when you came into your own Mm -hmm. you were able to not fall too far from that and continue that on right and so i think that builds that's like the you had like the perfect recipe not even mm-hmm. knowing it probably as a kid right yeah. of becoming <clears throat> what you are now mm-hmm. and so it makes perfect sense and then you add in someone like your like chess am i saying it right now you good and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> am i saying it right now you good bro my 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 i'll give my government my, my last name chisholm so everybody just you know just called me chiz so chiz, it just kind of stuck like right. I, that's the last thing that's yeah. the last time i'm gonna mess it up because i hate good, people messing bro. up you good. titus and call me titus <laughs> <laughs> cheers it's christina are you stupid or are you deaf christina you idiot you come to our house you get my wife's name right, Christina. Chiz, yeah, that's the yeah, last yeah, time I messed it up. But sure. you mess with somebody like a Chiz, that's what that's like a forty in mm-hmm. a sense. Drake mm-hmm. wouldn't get to that level if if he didn't have a right hand. Mm-hmm. When when he goes through even all the projects he do, at the end of the day, forty is still right there. Mm-hmm. He's always like, "Yo, what do you think about this? What do you think about that?" Doing it all like oh, shit. I mean, like <laughs> Chiz went from. You know what I'm saying? He went from, I don't know, I ain't gonna say my producer, but (laughs) it's like when I met him, I ain't know him from a a hole in the wall. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like from the first day I went to his house and we was in the studio, it was like I knew it. 
Like I, I hadn't even been rapping that long, but he making the you beat. You knew it off of the conversation, or I just... knew the moment I walked in there and sat down on the couch at his house and the beat he was playing. I knew I was like, oh, I this my I, guy. I knew I had to at least build build a relationship with him. Okay, yeah. But then it's like we made a song. Like he making a beat, mm. and I'm writing to it. I don't ever do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm writing to the beat while he making it. By the time he done, I'm like, all right, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? Let me go in the booth. And I don't know That probably shocked him <laughs> Right You're like, like, Alright let's get it's it like yeah. Ever since then It's like we've We damn sure it's, it's like Not damn sure But we damn near Like the shit I'm thinking He thinking too You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying Like This the only dude Out He's the only person Outside of family That I can Sit on the phone with For hours You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying Like we just always Putting plays together We always on That's the same wave right You know what I'm saying Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. so it's like he went from being my producer or, you know what I'm saying, he was a producer, then we start rapping together, then mm. he stopped rapping. He still my producer, but now it's like, bro, he was like, yeah, man, I just got this, this DJ equipment. <laughs> so I'm like, I right, bet, like, shit, I could have asked anybody to be a DJ at my show, but I'm like, my nigga got some why shit. Why not my right hand man? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Yeah. Makes so perfect that's just, sense. That's just how we move. I think we, we kind of built that up. You know what I'm saying over all these years, but it's like I knew from that day. You know, that's what I'm what's up, man. Yeah, that was that See, I was. Never heard that story. It man. ain't too many. It <laughs> ain't too many people that's solid, bro. Like I done been around a lot of fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so it's like when I, when I get around somebody that's genuine, like especially me, in the music industry. Yeah, it's like oh, man. why not, bro? Like mm-hmm. <laughs> shit. Somebody asked me for my feature price or my show price not too long ago, mm. and I'm sitting there with my wife. I'm like. I'm about to throw a little extra on there for my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, going to be there with me. Man. My nigga, I get paid too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's just what it is. Like, that's this nigga family. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how it's all. That's what it's all about is having that family and building that early on because, like, a lot of people don't realize. Um, and I forgot who I was listening to, but he made a great point of, um, I think it was Wiz, actually. He was talking about it. It was like, how did you have the recipe to like get to the level you are? And he was like, I didn't click hop. He was like, I stayed with the same people, That's same friend. producers. Mm-hmm. He was like, Sledrin, Cardo, um, you know, Giuliano. He was like, I got a set of guys and we just blew up together. Mm-hmm. He was like, yeah. I didn't studio. He was like, a lot of people, they make the mistake of studio hopping. Mm-hmm. He was like, you'll, you'll go to a producer. And ain't nothing wrong with going to a different guy if if it ain't right, it ain't right. But sometimes people will jump because they feel like, oh, this is the high group right now. Mm-hmm. Let me jump on that. And then they don't go to where I want you to go. Mm-hmm. And then you be like, oh, well, let me come back over here. Yeah. And then like that stuff gets around to yeah, where they like, right. oh man, this but that's dude. what that's what developed the sound too, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, sticking with a group of core individuals, like even with the stuff we did with Soul on Sunday, like you said, a song came out of it. But we still all pretty much like-minded individuals, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, and they're trying to accomplish a goal. If you, you can't, cl- the studio hopping and click hopping, I mean, you just, you just mixing different energies, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it don't really, it don't necessarily always align with what you got going on yeah. and your goals, so. That's just, uh, the niggas ain't solid. Like well, I said, I mean, niggas yeah, we ain't, try these people, people are nice they, they, they not, <laughs> you know, but to you be know. honest, like, these, they not stand-up people, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot mm. of people get into this music shit, and they try to treat it, well, you can tell that they not familiar with no real shit outside of music, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's like, you move how you move, no matter, you are who you are, no matter what position or what situation you in, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And it's like the way I was raised, the way I was, you know what I'm saying, handle shit outside of music is like, I got to keep it the same. You know what I'm saying? Like my niggas outside of music, they don't do music. So it's like, I, I can't force them to come in here and try to do some shit. Yeah. So it's like only the best thing for me to do is just find some like-minded niggas inside of music that I know solid, you know what I'm saying? And we can build off that. So, I mean, mm-hmm. it's all, it's all about, you know... What they say, like you are who you hang with. You yeah, know what I'm saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I ain't that gonna never, you ain't gonna never catch me around no suckers, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I don't, I don't believe in that. So. Yeah, that's that's a fact. That old saying: What if you're around nine millionaires, you bound to be a town. Like mm-hmm. same with everything. Yeah, that's a fact. You're around some robbing guys, you probably gonna 
you probably gonna kick a dough in one yeah, or two. Right. You know? right. <laughs> Eventually, <laughs> or you gonna be a driver or something. Mm-hmm. Something that energy is, you know, we're all I call us human energy transmitters. Mm-hmm. Like we all right. release and take in energy. Right. And so the people you're around, you know, that iron sharpens iron. Mm-hmm. You know, you feel that. Wayne talked about that. They were like, How did you evolve to the level you are? He was like, Cause I was rapping against Juvie and BG every day. Right. And That's I wanted fact. to have the best track. I wanted mm-hmm. to have the best um what do you call verse. it? Best verse on that song. You might not make the record. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> that's what he said. He said, you I wanted to make, make the, the record. record. Yeah, and but, I think that, it, honestly, that's why I like working with Verb. Because mm, that yeah. nigga is on a thousand <laughs> all the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he going to rap, for sure. And a lot of, uh, he gonna make funny thing rap. is, like, mm-hmm. he come in the studio, his verse already ready. Or he he might be the one that's constantly writing verses. I don't mm-hmm. do that. I don't write the verse till it's time for me to rap. You know what I'm saying? So it's mm-hmm. like, he in the studio... We hear a beat, and then like a minute later, he like, yeah, all right, I'm I'm good, and then he go in there, and like I'm like, all right, but then this nigga doing shit, and I was like, well, damn, ain't no way in hell, I'm gonna put on something that don't match his vibe. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? We got a song right now, and I'm like, bro, I don't, I don't like that verse, and he keep telling me like, nah, nah, we gonna put it out. And I'm like, nah, bro, ain't no way in hell, I'm gonna let you do what you did, and then come in and feel like I'm nah, happy. I gotta come shit. back to yeah. that. Nah, I gotta switch some shit up, but. That's what's up And it's needed Stuff like mm-hmm. that is needed Because iron sharpens iron man And and that'll make you Like how you said Be like yo I need to step it up Like I need to, That's an excitement You mm-hmm. know Like a friendly competition And since right. like Oh I can't I can't let him show me up mm-hmm. On this on this song man I, I think he won't to That's why he don't <laughs> 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 He don't try to get you yeah, yeah, Friendly competition yeah. If, you, if he yeah. was here He would say that He'd oh, probably yeah. be like Yeah mm-hmm. I'm trying to Bite a nigga's head yeah, off right. That's, yeah. Yeah. But that's he, why it's gotta be Yeah yeah. That's how, like you said Steel stopping sharp and steal I wouldn't have it any other way. I mean, I know he probably wouldn't. Yeah, you know, that's how you become uh, yeah. great. Mm-hmm, you know, sure. is doing that. And you're already on a path to like how, how Chaz was saying, like, ain't no niggas like him here Mm-mm. in the sense of like demeanor, mm-hmm. flow, mixing in what you're doing. And I think that has a lot to do with what I was going to ask with you. Do you think the sense of you being a former rapper or, or being a, a songwriter in that sense helps with how great you are as a producer? Because I feel yeah, like you sure. have an advantage in the sense of knowing the flow pattern of like how something's to sound as compared to someone that's just beat making. It's a difference between a beat making and a producer. Oh, You're a producer. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, so. and, and even now getting more into um, engineering because I work at the studio, you know, plug, shout out Titan, Titan Studio. Shout out to Titan Studio. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, just putting, I mean, it's, like you said, it's different between actually making a beat and actually putting a song together. Um, you know, something that's gonna hold your attention you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. for two to three minutes yeah you know what i'm saying it ain't easy um Mm -hmm. you know a lot of the stuff today it kind of sounds repetitive um and then the artist can give it life yeah Uh, but Mm -hmm. i think in our situation i'm 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 the i'm the kind of producer i like to um create in the studio with the artist you know what Mm -hmm. i'm saying i saw i saw interview with jermaine dupree and he was saying uh, you know, back in the day, like even if they made confessions or whatever artist he was working with, Usher, whoever, you know, they sit in the studio and talk for hours before mm-hmm. the record even got made. Mm. And you know, you might get a, you know, you get a song coming out of just out of that conversation. You know what I'm saying? You got to learn mm. somebody first. And I think yeah. the fact that we've known each other for so long, uh, like he said, I can go in and I can, I can already kind of. Hear the, I can hear a sample here, but like, hold on, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And I'll be like, I'm already chopping it, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So um, it's just that, it's just that kind of vibe. And like I can say, I think the, I mean, chemistry is everything, you know I what agree. I'm saying? To me, I mean, you can't, and you can't fake that shit, you know what I'm saying? You can, mm-hmm. you can be in the studio, you can, you know, you can drink, you can smoke or whatever, but if, it, if the chemistry ain't there, if the vibe ain't there, it ain't there, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And a lot of times people try to force that shit. And, uh, you know, Can't you can be. hear that in the music. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You can hear that in the music. Or or if they wasn't even in the studio together at all. Mm-hmm. You know, if it's just somebody sending them a beat or artists sending them a song, hey, give me a 16 or 12 nowadays or whatever back. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, but yeah, you can you can definitely tell. You know what I'm saying? We were talking about food earlier. Mm-hmm. You can tell the difference between some, some authentic Mexican food and Chipotle. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you know the difference. <laughs> that's a fact. You feel me? Yeah. So, mm-hmm. I think... Uh, we ain't Chipotle. Man. Nah, nah, that's a fact. <laughs> Mo's neither, nigga. Uh, but, um, even though... I'm talking about <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I think all that shit is is 
it comes through. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you can't, like I said, you can't, you can't fake that shit. And uh, you know, we've been doing this for a while. I, I started out, um, like you said, when I met him, we, we all just kind of met on Twitter, hood, mm-hmm. me, him, and uh, I, I was doing this shit, and I That's was like, crazy. yeah, <laughs> back back when Twitter kind of used to be a little one community. of the pros of yeah. social media. Yeah, yeah. See, some pros. Yeah, to we it. all like, you know, kind of even like. Since the birth of Twitter, it was probably back then when we jumped yeah. on there. Mm-hmm. And Nick, I this one motherfuckers just tweet like, "Yo, who in the studio today? Mm-hmm. Or who working on some shit today?" Yeah. And I, I was like, "Man, fuck it, we niggas like moving like this." Mm-hmm. And um, I had a studio, I had a booth built in my garage, like a you know booth window, all that shit. And um, I said, "Man, fuck it, y'all come to the crib." You yeah. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we just started doing that, and um, we would get up, man. It started, you know, once a week. Then it started being damn near every other day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? People would just be over there. Ver would be over there. Vader would, I mean, been over there before. Uh, like you name it. It's been a lot of motherfuckers that, that came through my first crib, and um, that's just kind of how it started, man. And, and, and the sound developed from there. But I've always like I'm older. I'm older than him. I'm kind, I'm not. I might be his brother's age, but mm. so I was listening to that stuff. You know what mm. I'm saying? You were talking about, you know, the J's and the kind of all that shit. Like one of the first CDs I ever bought, get my <laughs> my age, but um, <laughs> shit was doggy style. Like I remember that shit. You know, the first CD. Like, yeah. I was like, fuck, this shit crazy. And so, um, classic, right? Mm-hmm. You know, and like all that shit, I think is a part of me now. You know what I'm saying? In the music that comes out, because as a producer, you usually make what you want to hear mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying um and so that's 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 just kind of what i want that's just what i like that's what i want to hear but i'm still going but i still of course i'm from the south i had the influence of a jeezy the influence of a ti cast and everybody else and so kind of my my drums and everything else you know might follow that you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying but it's just kind of the the meshing of those two worlds yeah um, yeah and i think that's kind of how you got my so I was one point we was in the studio every day over at Titan and I was just making beats, making mm-hmm. beats. He would come in and we just start rapping and he just got to the point where he was rapping on everything that I made. Mm, that's and, how, and that's, then that's how the tag came. He was like, cheers, ain't on it all yeah. one day. He was in the <laughs> so and that's, that's my tag now. You know that's what I was going to say. That's how I kind of got myself ready to make that album. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would go in and whatever he making, I'm like, bro, like, don't stop. Just, just keep making it. Yeah. I'm yeah. a right to it. So it was like, I made it a mission, like, Every time, every day I come to the studio. By the time we leave, I'm at least we're gonna have something. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. None of the, none of that shit went on the album. Maybe one, but mm-hmm. it was just like we need to build that up. You know what I'm saying? I had yeah. to get in that mode. I needed to like put myself where I needed to be in order to make that album. So yeah. I was like, lyrical we, exercise. We, yeah, we got to do this every day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, getting yourself in that mode, man, mm-hmm. is so key. You know, being it, it prepares you for, like you said, the album mode. You know, right, yeah. I would compare it as you know, run them up, shoot them up, in the sense of like warming yourself up before the big game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you gotta, you gotta get your your joints moving before you, right. you can't just jump out there right, <laughs> try right. to do a full court five oh five. You better stretch yeah. or something yeah. because you yeah. dad gonna be like myself. I did that one time. <laughs> I thought I was about to have a heart attack. Right? <laughs> I went out yeah. there to Concord trying to um, hoot with some youngins and. Um, I think I had some regular pants on. So I was oh, bugging no, that day. I was totally disrespectful that day. Like I was like, yo, kind of my boy invited me over there. Yo, I was feeling myself hard that day. Like I was like, all right, nigga. Like whatever, nigga. It's Con City. What y'all got going on? This week, boys joking down there, and they're going. I was like, yo, I'll be back. I went to the bathroom. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna die right here, dog. Like I thought I was about to die but preparation is key yeah, you know if i would have sure. warmed myself up don't take and you know and some people do that i've seen some cats in the studio <laughs> where they'll take somebody for granted because they they mm-hmm. don't know the person mm-hmm. like oh I, I haven't seen you around and then that person to eat them up on a record because they they were coming in not like a mindset like you have not like mm-hmm. a mindset like verb have like i don't care who's on here mm-hmm. where this nigga from i don't know but i'm about to tear this record up that mm-hmm. he just sent me like you gotta that's, have that respect for everybody. That's one thing about me, bro. I don't, I don't talk in the studio. Mm. Like you can ask anybody, bro. They mm. playing the beat. I'm, I'm minding my business. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. I'm, I'm catching the vibe. I'm never like I said earlier. I I watch how people move. Like I don't never really. I'm not the one to crack jokes and shit like that. Unless it's me and him. Yeah. But if we in the studio full of people, nah. I'm, you in that zone? I'm in my zone because it's like I know. 
You know what I'm saying? They always say the loudest one in the room is the weakest. You know what I'm saying? So I always mm. I move in silence, bro. Like I don't I don't really I don't like being seen. I don't like being heard until it's time. Yeah. for that. So when I'm in the studio, bro, I'm I'm real quiet. Bro. That's why I'm glad we actually had the show. Niggas had yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, we wanted to be outside. Niggas, niggas was in the coming studio, up. You know People came yeah. up. Some this dude came up to me after the show and he was like, it was shown. Um and he said, like everybody was, you know, you know, giving, sending my praises and shit, telling me how good of, of a show it was. But Sh- Shom said something that you know I won't forget and I appreciate. And he was like, "Bro, like I'm proud of you for you. You stepped out of your shell. You came out of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because like uh-huh. I said, I'm always quiet. I'm always stand standoffish. But this, yeah, it was yeah. like this night. I was like, damn, bro, I can't." Be that same person I am in the studio On the stage Cause yeah. I'm, I'm a bomb mm-hmm. So it's like I gotta really like Tap into Who I believe I am You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying So Yeah, yeah. It was essentially a, a, a coming out party You Facts. know what I'm saying For for him And really I mean Me Hood mm-hmm. uh, Everybody that Had been doing this with us You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying Since day one Essentially Like we We had literally been Working towards that moment Like you said Like you can go to Snug And you You know you 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 in the audience, you know, you know the artist sometimes, you be like, dang, you know when it's gonna be my turn. You know, you still there, you still giving them their flowers. Mm-hmm. But you know one you know one day it's gonna be your turn. Mm-hmm. And, and taking notes. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay, you know what to I'm, do. I'm gonna do it like this. Yeah, what to do, mm-hmm. what not to do, uh, and just making it your own. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what um like I said, I'm 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 grateful that, you know what I'm saying, he had that moment, he stepped out there because you know, I know he probably wouldn't have, you know what I'm saying, otherwise. I mean, we, we had already done, uh, you know, kind of the progression of shows around. You know, we had, I mean, this is over, you know, 10 years. We had done mm. the Petras. We had done, you know, other other venues, you know, mm. smaller venues. Mm. Um, and then when he told me, uh, you know, he got snuck because I had, like, you know, I had transitioned from artist, producer, engineer kind of where I am now and he was like man I want you DJ <laughs> DJ for me I'm like yeah. what the fuck he yeah. was, I was like well I do got some equipment I was like I've been fucking around and you know what I'm saying I was like I can, I can, I can play your set yeah that's one thing about me bro I don't do nothing without my niggas in mind yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah. that's any, how it should any be. opportunity I get like Hood, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm telling him, I was like, bro, you can be my hype man. Like, whatever I got to do right. mm. to put y'all in the space to where y'all can be respected, you know what I'm saying? Just as much as me, I'm going to do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, if you want to play behind the scenes, I'm fine with that. But it's like, nah, we came in this shit as a group, bro. Like, that's mm. why at the end of the show, I brought, <clears throat> excuse me, I brought them up there. I was like, yeah. y'all got to take this yeah. picture. Like, these my niggas that's been that's riding up, with me man. since day one. Like, they need that love. Sure. That I, y'all need to give them a round of applause just as much as you're going to give it to me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because, nigga, we, we earn that shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Humility is key, man. Humility mm-hmm. is key. And and having that mind frame, bro, um, will get you far. It'll continue to, like, have that mind frame. And having that team that you have, mm-hmm. um. It, it's it's easy to to stay like that because yeah. I feel like y'all are all in that one track tunnel vision to where it's mm-hmm. like teamwork making the dream work. Everybody's bouncing ideas off each other to make mm-hmm. great bodies of work. And once you have that, you just continue to grow in what you're doing, bro. Like the sky's the limit for y'all, mm-hmm. man. Timing is key as well because y'all right. both have been yeah. doing y'all mm-hmm. staying for a minute. And I look at it like like you said, um, this was a coming out party for him. It was it was a reintroduce. A reintroduction for a lot of people for you because you're you you talked about the evolution of what you've become. Uh-huh. Now people are seeing you from a whole different light. Now, mm-hmm. like producer DJ, you probably get some oh, cats being like, "Yo, man, can you DJ my stuff?" You yeah, know, you right. never know who yeah. was watching that night. Yeah. To where now, um, this is a branding for both of y'all right. in yeah. a sense. And, and I want to say, thing. um, salute the decks, yo, DJ Dexter Dynamite for sure. Oh yeah, uh, shout out to Dynamite. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. He um helped me out. Uh, you know. Uh, immensely you know what i'm saying that night uh you know what i'm saying just you know easing my mind um my boy styles uh helped me out too kind of getting you know getting my crates together i ain't, I ain't have anything bro I, I started from nothing i was like man i need to get some music because i ended up djing like <laughs> i was supposed to do, just do my set which mm-hmm. i kind of had like 30 minutes of mm-hmm. you know me going if you were there you um heard me kind of going from sample to to the kind of new stuff newer music and i was just gonna play 30 minutes of that but I ended up rocking for like an hour and a half. Just mm-hmm. Dex was like, man, go, go, go. He was like, man, go ahead, do your thing. And uh, I, I needed that. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I needed him to 
you know, give me that, you know what I'm saying, that battery in my back, that confidence, because, you know, yeah. I was up there, anxiety, like, if you never, to never DJ before, like, I hadn't even DJ at a house party, bro, and mm. the, to do, do stuff, like, that shit. <laughs> Here that you shit go. Was big, like, like, yeah. You throwing it deep in for real. Beside so. Dynamite as well. Oh, my you God, You know, I yeah. think, I think that had to be a breath of fresh air for you as well, because Dynamite is very respected. Oh, absolutely. And, and, and to have DJ someone Mo like that. Him. Yeah, pass the yeah. keys to you where it's like, yo, man, you got it, bro. Like, yeah. I know that had to be a breath of fresh air as well. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. I, I got sure, this, man. man. For sure, put the anxiety yeah. down a little bit. Man, listen, yeah. like you talking about anxiety and shit. It's like, but like you say, I mean, you're usually anxious when you when you're not prepared. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I'm saying? So I know I, I prepared and I was doing a bunch of shit before the show, um, and we even we were rehearsing, uh, going through the mm -hmm. set. And everything else, and that definitely ease, you know, lower my anxiety for sure. But uh, you know, not prepare you for the night of the show. No, yeah, <laughs> you know no. what I'm saying? Yeah, no. mm -hmm. uh, not on top of that, but you think about everything else that we dealing with, or you know, we we not necessarily worried about. But like you say, people showing up, showing that love. Um, you know, everything technical wise going yeah, right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That that was my big worry. You know, we doing sound check, we doing all this. Make sure these mics right, man. Mm -hmm. Listen, so. Uh, we actually had some technical issues, you know, uh, during the show. Um, I, I hopefully no no one noticed, but um, I didn't notice. Well, it, yeah, um, but you know, when Verb went acapella, that was kind of a technical <laughs> part of the show. Oh, they and just pulled that off like, yeah, hey, yeah, let's it just, worked. Okay, it worked. you know, every time. he's so known for doing that. Yeah, though. yeah that's, that's why it worked. Yeah. Right, so because mm -hmm. he's a you know he a rapper, he used to you know battling and stuff like that i think it would have worked for him too you know if he was up there and it happened you know because yeah. those mm -hmm. guys are used to rapping you know mm -hmm. you know if you're an artist you got to have you know a couple verses in your head for some yeah, shit like that if it happened or if somebody say you know rap i want you know if you're front of jay-z you know you're gonna have to do it yeah right. so um but yeah i think all that stuff worked out in our favor man i'm i'm i'm, I'm grateful for him to even reaching out to me because he could have got dex to do it you know what i'm saying he could have no. got dex to do his set I mean, nah. he was already up there. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That, he didn't yeah, need me. Uh, it shows love that he has. He didn't, and the fact that I had never even done this shit before, he could have been like, nigga, you nah, gonna fuck bro. up. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna fuck my show up tonight. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell you, bro. He, I, he, I don't hey, solid, care. Bro. That's I solid, bro. Like, it's, it's real genuine shit from me all, at all times, bro. Like, if I know, you know what I'm saying, like, we kind of like-minded, then I'm always, you know what I'm saying, keep that in mind. Like, I'm mm. always want to do just as much for somebody as they're gonna do for me. You I'm the same that? way. Yeah, we especially when I know you're we, loyal like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. we did a show not too long after that. One of the artists on the show, Miller, had a performance uh and invited us to a show in, in Columbia. He was like, yo, you want want to DJ shit? We shit, I'm I'm in the car. We ride. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, <laughs> bro. Did. They asked me for my price and I had to throw a little on top because <laughs> I gotta have my nigga yes, with me. That's what's saying? up, man. That is That's beautiful. Up. Because that that builds you up while you're doing shows now and now. Do, is that something you're going to continue doing, like being his DJ? And Man, I'm, I'm with whatever. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, that's family. So whenever he caught this motherfucker go hit me the other day, talking about, yo, how much you charge to host I a mixtape? I think you should tape. continue to do it. He talking about how much yeah. you charge to host a mixtape. I'm like, I know you ain't asking for you, motherfucker. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Why not? At yeah. this point, no, I'm right? talking about, but he know I ain't going to charge him. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But that's family. So like, whatever, whenever he need me, I'm there. You know what I'm saying? If I can Facts. be there, I'm there. You feel yeah. me? Facts, man. That's what's up. And it takes a level of, like you said, um, he didn't have to do that. I think the the times of him seeing you in the studio and, and knowing what you are capable of as well, having that confidence in you even before, you, not to say you didn't have that confidence in yourself, but even a, a new avenue like that, he's like, nah, my man got it. Yeah. Probably from the work ethic, he sees you in the studio, like even if it is a new avenue for him, well, he, I know he still can do this. He said that to me. Uh, he, he said, uh, he's like, I went to ask you. He's like, I know you. He was like, I know you going to do whatever you need to do to figure the shit out. Like, yeah, you, like, you going to be prepared. It's been countless times, bro. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't be telling this nigga this shit, but <laughs> it's times we in the studio and shit like the computer fucking up. And it's like, I'm sitting there like, damn, what what the hell going on? And this nigga just troubleshooting. You know what yeah, I'm saying? It's yeah, like, you're, seeing, you're seeing him at work. It's like, yeah. bro, like, I know he not going to spend some money on some shit that he not going to try to... Nah. Perfect, you know what I'm saying. Exactly. So it's like, if you gonna go, I remember when he bought the Serato, and I was like, all right, bit. It was it, it, he might have had it for a while before yeah. the show, but it was like, I know that he can do it. I didn't seen him do so much other shit that I ain't even told him about. Like I know he can yeah. do this shit. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. So why not? 
Yeah, because uh, you know what he's capable of. And at if, the end if of the anything, day. I would rather him fuck my show up than somebody else that I ain't really got no relationship with. We can handle that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. Mm-hmm. It'd be different if, you know, if it go a different way with somebody I ain't really got no relationship with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I I don't care who you are or how you are. Like, if I don't have that with you, I can't do nothing with you. you yeah, I feel you. I'm the same way. And like you said, you know what he's capable of. Mm-hmm. If, I, if, I, if I know your track record, you my man, I know I can depend on you on that at the, right. at the end of the day, you know. I'm not, and it's not like you're asking just anybody. You know, mm-hmm. Jordan ain't just asking Rodman, hey, lock up Malone. Yeah, like right, yeah. I know what you're capable of, Rodman. Like mm-hmm. right? even if you're having an off night, lock up Malone. Like yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. he know he know, and that's, and that's gonna click in because yeah. that's that man, that's his man. <laughs> yeah. The confidence yeah. will be like, all right, I yeah. need to lock right. in Malone. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's the that's same right. with that. You seen mm-hmm. this man in the gym? You seen him doing that's his thing fact. in the stool? You know what he's capable of. Fact. And so you know that's that's how I, more groups need to do that, have mm-hmm. that confidence because I feel like that's how a lot of cats split. Because mm. the, the the homies will see that and be like, dang, like he know I've been trying to like do this. Mm-hmm. Um, energy is key. I mean, yeah. some people say closed mouth don't get fed, but I feel like energy is key. You know when your homeboy want to do certain things, yeah. and it's just like they'll they'll take that as an offense, and then they'll go somewhere else, mm-hmm. and then you'll have that you'll have that um, split in groups because of stuff like that. Right. So it's dope to see that you know you guys are not just here verbally but here as yeah. well where it's like yeah you gotta generally want to see your your niggas to win you know what i'm saying i think a lot of times people you know in the situation you're talking about and you know it might not necessarily be jealousy but i mean i, I don't get it. it it's just you know if you know your partner talented like i i, I couldn't uh i couldn't I, I wouldn't sit right with myself if i didn't you know what i'm saying like i say it's, it's time to shine if i didn't push him to the forefront even we were rapping in a group, you know, me, him, and Hood, uh, you know, shout out to Left Lane, like, you know, he was always a star to me, you know what That's I'm saying, cool. like, we in the studio, I, don't, I, I really didn't feel, like, it was times in the studio where him and Hood would put down the verse, and I'd be like, man, I'll, I'll lay my shit when y'all leave, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, because, like, I, I just being all, you know what I'm saying, yeah, I'd be yeah. like, man, how the fuck, he take me, you know, a, a day, hold on, he said, what, <laughs> all right, so, I, you know what I mean, so, Generally, wanting my, my niggas to win, man. Like you gotta have solid, you know, motherfuckers on your squad. Like, mm-hmm. um, and everybody don't have that, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Yeah, do you know how much it like that shit kind of blew my mind when them niggas was like willing to, you know, what I'm saying, take the, take a step back and like put me there. You know, what I'm saying, like I felt we was better as a group, mm-hmm. and they feel like I'm better as an individual. You know, what I'm saying, just for them to be able to. Like, that shit meant a lot to me, bro. Like, it's like, yeah. whatever you need, bro, we got you. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We see you mm-hmm. doing this. If you go to Hood Twitter, I'm guaranteed, I promise you, like, either his picture, like, something, his pin tweet got something to do with me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm that's saying? That, that's how he, yeah. and it's like, bro, like, I see this shit all the time, and it's like, these niggas really, like, they believe in me like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's true friendship, and it takes mm-hmm. a level of, like I said, putting that pride to the side. And and realizing, you know, you the one, bro. Mm-hmm. People need to hear that. Like, like I was just talking to Loot about that because you know he was in Forever FC, mm-hmm. and yeah. they were a collective of cats. Yeah. You know, him and uh, his cats that they were doing their thing, and they still do their thing separately. Yeah. But it took a level to where he had a lot of anxiety in the beginning of being himself mm-hmm. solo because he was so used to looking to the left, looking to the right, seeing his homies. So it took a brotherhood for them to be like. You got it. Like, yeah, yeah you, you, yeah. like, the separation is there, bro. Like, you, you got this. You can mm-hmm. do this. And he became, like, you know, he started branching off to do what he's doing. I would imagine the same with y'all. Like, if, if you a real nigga, sooner or later, mm-hmm. you're going to be like, oh, yeah, he the one. Like, yeah, he, he got sure. it. Just like how you were saying. Yeah. And, and brothers need to hear that, man. Yeah. Brothers need to hear that. Because that build that up in you, that confidence will be like, mm-hmm. all right, if, if the homies think I got it, right. then I got it. Because honestly, it. like, <laughs> I always tell them, I think I was like, the weakest link when it came to rapping. I think that's crazy. Like my voice sounds, I, you know what I'm saying? My voice gives me a presence. Mm-hmm. But like when it comes to bars, I always say Hood and Cheers was my favorite rappers in the city because these niggas be saying like, I'm like, God damn. That's probably why your bars are so good now. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, God damn. I'm step- like, these niggas out here saying shit I don't even think about. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? On the, like, on the flip side, this nigga voice crazy. He ain't even have to say shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on and try Just the oh, energy. You know, what I'm you know yeah. like, 
You add in the the flow yeah. now, like I don't know how you like whatever raps you talking about. <laughs> yeah, you definitely threw them away because you giving people but ninety three premium raps yeah, that you giving right fact. now. When he I mean, come on the track. Bro. He come on the track. Huh? <laughs> you know he come on. It's probably that's like what I'm saying. I people to, waiting to hear that. Like mm. soon as you hear the ad lib or whatever, you all right? Okay, well I'm here with this nigga got to say. You mm. know, what but I'm saying? that's 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 I did that for myself. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I had to build confidence in myself. So that's why it's like like I said, it took me a while. Cause a lot of people say I don't talk like I rap. My rap voice don't sound shit like my talking voice. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But it's like I had to find that. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was so like sheltered and show. You know, so mm. in a shell a lot of times. Like I had to break out of that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's like I started doing that just to build confidence in myself. So my ad lib is you know is strong. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. my voice is strong because I had to like pretty much. Turn myself into that Yeah you know A lot of artists A lot of the greats do that mm-hmm. Beyonce is nothing like How she is on stage Yeah Travis Scott is very Anti-social Like that nigga Is not yelling at niggas <laughs> Like yeah. You know what I'm saying Like But it takes a level To where when it, If they want to Separate themselves mm-hmm. And they know There's something That they're passionate about um, They They transform themselves Into those things yeah. yeah You know They're totally different Compared mm-hmm. You know You like you're a father Like you know what I'm saying Yeah The, the, the swag that, that is something That you invented To be that artist That right. you are mm-hmm. And so A lot of the greats Do that That's nothing far And in between right. How do you How do you Balance all of that together You know Being Being who you are The artist Being the father You know um, I mean it's It's easy Cause like My wife and kids Like being a husband They mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying They know who I am You know what I'm saying If mm-hmm. if don't nobody know me My family do You do know you, what I'm saying Do you think that adds Even more structure To what you do And more of a purpose In a sense That's why you're so In the studio like We better be doing some shit Like Nah it's just That's just how I move bro like, That's I, how You, you would move like that Without them Yeah without them I'm, I'm not that You can ask anybody Who know me bro I'm quiet You know what I'm saying okay. Like I don't It's because You know like Going through shit Growing up you know what I'm saying? I was never the vocal one. I was just always mm-hmm. back, just peeping the scene. I grew up around older people. Very you know observant. what I'm saying? So it's like me going around my brother and all them and all the shit that they was into. It's like, you know, they giving me game when I was young. Like, don't be the one talking and don't, you know, don't be the extra one. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to you gotta see how people move before you introduce them to you. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because if they're not genuine, then they, then they don't deserve... My energy You know what I'm saying So it's like mm-hmm. I always peep the scene Before I move Yeah So that's It would have been like that Regardless But mm-hmm. I mean Family life I mean that this shit easy You know My my son rap My youngest My oldest son right. rap You know what I'm saying So we in the studio We got a studio in the house You know We be up there Going back and forth My youngest son He a dancer But he's like a Creative bro You know So like As far as creating goes we all sit in the studio in the house and we just do vibe out whatever we do. You know what I'm saying? My wife, I've been with her since I was in the tenth grade. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, she went to independence. But you That's know what I'm saying? Good. Like I me and my wife, we've been together for a long time. So it's What's like What's her name? I ain't gonna tell you that. <laughs> yeah, my bad. I got <laughs> I'm going to. <laughs> you but right. Yeah, I, um, but yeah, like we've been together like so. <laughs> He's like, nah. <laughs> you know I was, yeah. like, I was curious. So we, we'll we, ask that off here. We grew up together. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> she know who I am. You know what I'm saying? She knew who I was as a youngin. So she watched me grow up into a man. So she knows mm-hmm. what it is. So it's it's easy. You know what I'm saying? He said since the 10th grade. Yeah. Dang, that's that's rare. It's not yeah. this boy. Yeah, I knew I knew who she was when I met her. You know. What I'm really? Yeah. Dang. Yeah. The, the moment sad. I met, cause she yeah, that's, was that's clap right. I ain't gonna there. get into all that yeah, soft shit. But yeah, like I, I knew I knew who I knew like, what it's it was. Not soft. I mean, that's who you are. Yeah. yeah I mean, when you. I I met my wife, um, and it's crazy because before the time I met her, I didn't. I've never seen her before. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So the first time I met her, and we talked on the phone, it's like. It was just something that was different. I mean, me being, a, I'm 15, you know what I'm saying, at the time, like, I don't know, I don't know what real love and shit like that is, but it was something mm. about her that you made me feel, that. I felt mm. comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I didn't feel like she was going to put me through no fuck shit or nothing like that. It was like she was real genuine, and I, I just knew it. Like, I told her, mm. shit, maybe, 
maybe like a month after we was together, I was like, yeah, we, this shit gonna last forever. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, she, before her, it was easy for me to not deal with nobody. You know, as soon as you do some bullshit, like, I'm out of there. I'm gone. Yeah. But when it was with her, like, I ain't even want to make no mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And me to be that young and put that much, you know, like, into somebody else to where I don't want to disappoint you, I know you special. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. That's I, beautiful, I man. It, yeah. yeah. That's what's up. That's rarity, especially in today's day and age, especially in the industry that you're in. Yeah, I mean, because like I was saying earlier, like, you grow up, growing up, I went through a lot of shit, but with her, like, I felt safe and secure. You know what I'm saying? Like, really for the first time. So, it's like, mm. damn, bro. Yeah. Like, I owe her I owe this to you To be everything You want me to be You know yeah. what I'm saying that's And that's key, another bro. team You know That's your tribe mm-hmm. over there That's know? a fact Got that, that team where I made the dream work On all ends From yeah. Yeah. the studio To the household mm-hmm. That's what makes you The artist that you are um, Releasing that energy mm-hmm. You know Because if there's If there's Bad <clears throat> energy in the house That can rub off On, on the studio oh, that's And then A, you know, a <laughs> lot of bad habits Of where I've seen scenarios Where um, The household May not be good And then That'll rub off Some people say Like that That energy is good For the studio no, It's no, not it's no. You might get One good song Out of that But it, it's yeah, it's It not, don't work bro And then It ain't even worth It ain't even worth it bro Cause who know What the hell You gonna come out with And then like that, You might have some Take that bad energy to the studio And you might make A fire ass song But the way I think Say that's the song That take me out of here And I gotta keep Reliving that hurt mm-hmm. From home Every mm-hmm. time I perform The song You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying mm-hmm. I, I can't do that Like if I never thought about yeah, that We you just saw that With Summer Walker though You know what I'm saying When she had that show And she just cried You know what I'm saying yeah. Like like Or anxiety gets you Where she was performing The same songs She mm-hmm. had got hurt by you know all that yeah. uh, material and uh, the information in the song and everything. The most the recent topic. project. Yeah, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. 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 yeah. I mean, so she was like, "Damn, you know what I'm saying?" So I get that for sure. Mm-hmm. If you got to keep reliving that trauma, yeah, I can't. That, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I couldn't yeah, even, every I couldn't, night. That's what yeah. I was going to say. Too, I couldn't even do that it. to the family, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? Because me, when I make music, I'm real direct. You know what I'm saying? I'm not looking for crazy metaphors like I'm gonna just tell you what it is you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying it's gonna I'm gonna make it sound good yeah but like I, I really good. I really keep it honest you know what I'm saying so you know I, I'll be direct with whatever's going on with me and it's like how could I you know what I'm saying I, I ain't I let her listen to every song I make so I, I, I can't even I'm not gonna put our problems in the song you know yeah. what I'm saying <laughs> hell no <laughs> yeah. it's crazy so yeah that's another perfect example of being authentic to yourself mm-hmm. because some people will do that um, off of the strength of thinking that will get them more exposure or more mm-hmm. of a of a you know because that is the fad right now to do that yeah. mm-hmm. and so a lot of people will do that off of the trend of what's going on mm-hmm. and um, it'll end up biting them in the back end like how you was talking about in, in performances you, you get to this level because of that song and mm-hmm. then now you get to a that's all we want right. you know cause that's then you're, you're locked in certain artists to try to change be like oh I'm in love now and Cass is like yeah, we don't want, we don't want that love. We want that pain. Yeah, like, that's what they say about Mary J. Blige. <laughs> nobody want to hear happy Mary. <laughs> yeah, don't nobody like Mary J. Buzz when she happy. Mm-hmm. Give us that heart. Yeah, yeah. And then you get stuck in that box. Mm-hmm. So, or not stuck in the box like Mary. Mary ain't stuck, but people didn't want to see Mary. Like they want, they didn't want happy Mary. Yeah, she yeah. got out of it. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, it yeah. took her a while, yeah. man. That cloud followed her. She for had to make be happy. Yeah, <laughs> you know I want to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Had to, man. Yeah. So what's next on the agenda, man? We on the second half of the year. Um, you know, great first year. Mm-hmm. I mean first half of the year you've had. Um, how you closing out twenty twenty two? Um, we're just working on a couple shows right now. Um me and Verb got a project coming out soon. Mm-hmm. Um I'm going to try to drop one more full project by the end of the year. But if not, I know I got like a couple EPs I want to put out. So mm. yeah, that's it, man. I'm just dropping music. I got to um, get my visual game up. So I got a couple you know, songs from the album I want to shoot videos to. So. Facts. Yeah, I'm going to try to be outside a little bit more. <laughs> you know, I, I think more people see my face and more people want to kind of get to know. Yeah, man. We want to see you out here, yeah, bro. So. We want to see you. I'm going to do it right. Cause right. that was my problem for the longest, bro. Like oh, I, I rap and I stay in the house. You know what I'm mm-hmm. 
But now it's time to step out a little more. Yeah, you're too talented, bro. Yeah, you got you got to you got to step out every now and then, um, because like I said, the talent you got, people gonna want to see you more. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's good to like 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 Shom told you to get yourself out of that. As much as um, I know it takes mm-hmm. being someone like you remind me a lot of myself being observant, having an older brother. I'm the youngest. All my people are older than me, mm-hmm. so I grew up watching them because it's a ten year difference with the right. one that's the closest to me. Mm-hmm. And I think doing that um, taught me to read the room and, and mm-hmm. just be a sponge and know when to say um, when to say something and don't overspeak. Right. And mm-hmm. so I'm the same way. I try to make my my next move, my best move, and you're the same way. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the move is now. Like <laughs> the, the the city, like I said, you refreshing, and um, start just keep doing what you're doing, bro. Consistency sure, yeah. is key. Appreciate Them visuals, it. like visuals, that's the only thing I say. Visuals, and then out here in these shows, mm-hmm. you got it, bro. I mean, because sure. niggas is locked in on mm-hmm. you for sure. Thank you. Uh, before we leave, I am who I am is now out. Any way you listen to music, just type that shit in and play that. Word. The numbers up though. The numbers is crazy, yeah, man. Yeah, right now we had like one, one thirty, for album. Yeah, hundred thirty thousand. Yeah. Beautiful on Spotify. Yeah. That's oh, really. a beautiful look. All the other stuff, the two K. Oh yeah, shit got a song. Mm. <laughs> got a song. I run it up to license by. It's on two K twenty one. Word. That's um, what's up. And it just got licensed by the NBA. So. Yeah, shout out to that. That's yeah, man, up. shout out to Lillian, man. I, yeah. I put, I, <laughs> she always say I did her a favor, but now nah, like, I think I needed, I needed her to be on it because the mm-hmm. song, the song was done, like I had already put it out, but she was in the studio and it was like we was wrapping up my previous project, and she was there, and I'm like, well, I can't have you here, and not doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like you come to my session, like let's let's do something. So. We was trying to find beats, and I was like, you know what? I got, I'm got. i going to put this song back out on the album, but let's just put it out a little different. She sang mm-hmm. backgrounds on it, so. Yeah. Mm, dope. Yeah. Oh, that's so that's the song, song that's. On, know, the, on the 2K. 2K. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Word, word. You guys, if you don't mind giving your socials, well, people can get in contact with y'all. Um, <laughs> shit. Uh, P underscore T-H-E-G-A-H-D. P the God on. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, if you still use it, it's Promise to God, G A H D. Word, word. Yeah. <laughs> I am, but you, yo, but after I finish, yo, did you ever get into like what your name meant? The... Oh. Yeah, he said being and, outside of a box. Uh, no, like not being inside of a box. So I spelled it a certain way for a certain reason. Um, number one, because I can't do a disservice to, you know, my belief. The man upstairs. Yeah, so, but I spelled it that way. It's, Stands for good at hiding demons, cause you know I've mm. been been through a lot, but you can't really tell. You know what I'm saying? You wow. can hear it, but you can't see it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah, I like that. Yeah. I like that. My shit is uh D Chiz did it. D C H I Z D I D I T. Um, it's the same on pretty much all my social media. So um, I ain't got no jazzy name. It's just hey, straight <laughs> uh, to the point. But you know, I mean, that, that kind of came from my my, uh, my wife. I'm married to my wife. I was like, I need a tag. I need a tag. I don't, I don't even know what the fuck I. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, well, just go in there and just say my 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 IG name. She just went in the booth and said it, and um, that just it just kind of stuck, I guess. Um, you know, people call me Chiz anyway, so uh, I don't know. Y'all, y'all think I need a. A jazzy producer name? What you think, man? Nah, I like it. Nah, you know. <laughs> I mean, because Keep it I, where is it? because I never really, you know, I, I've had nicknames, of course, you know, uh, you know, over time, but um, everybody just called me D Chiz, and I, I don't want to uh, be one of the ones that just you know what I'm saying, just trying to. If I make a if come up with a crazy name, you got to live up to that, or you mm. know what I'm saying. I'd rather just be me, you know what I'm yeah. saying, just be mm. authentic and be who be who people already know me as. You know what I'm saying. I don't want to come out and. You know what I'm saying? Try to be anonymous and you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, nah, people already know Chiz. They already fuck with me. Uh, you know what I'm saying? On, on a personal level, so I'm like, I ain't gonna do nothing. I, talk, I was talking to blues about that. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the poet poet blues. Yeah, yeah, legend. Uh yeah, we were um Sounds of Sixteens one time and I was like, I, I was like, man, he's like D I, D Chiz. I'm like, I'm like, I need a new name, man. He was like, nah, it's gonna stick. 
You know, so he was like, nah, it's you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was like, cool. So I just been riding with it ever since. Yeah, stay with it. Yeah, that's a solid. And plus, man. I, uh, <laughs> I I don't want to change my handle because I got some stuff on there <laughs> from mm. uh, contests and shit that I won. Uh, I got the Meat Knife Wonder. Uh, um, I won a contest with him. Uh, it was like 2020, a couple years ago. Right. Uh, and now my picture on there, he tagged me, and it's like, I can't change my shit now. Nah, you know man. What I'm you gotta so, keep it now. That's the yeah. that's the that's the stamp right yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> I got to be in the studio with him, so <laughs> it, it, that was that was a blessing for sure. Um, but anybody that um, You know Anytime I'm upset Or anxious Or you know If he with this music shit I just be like Man Knife wanted to tell me I was dope So fuck y'all You know what I'm saying Like I gotta nice. lean It's just A little shit like that In your, your life You gotta lean on You know Even if it's your family Your kids Fuck y'all My kids say like, I'm dope You know what I'm yeah, saying man. Like, You gotta mm -hmm. lean on that sometimes So now I definitely Can't change my shit Facts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause he got me tagged So Yeah sure. it's, it's, it's stamped bro It's yeah. stamped mm -hmm. From the, even if it wasn't knife, it's stamped by you, and so that's a fact. Yeah, it's yeah. already it's already yeah. great. It's in the universe, yeah. and ain't, ain't nobody gonna take that. Yeah, appreciate that for sure. Facts, man. This is as of late. <laughs>